Hello guys, so, um, yeah, I actually haven't made a video for two months now, which is a really long time, and I've gotten 400 subscribers, I haven't done anything because I haven't, well, I didn't have any ideas, and that's actually the main reason I haven't been making videos. I... I usually have enough time, but I just don't have any good ideas that I think people would watch. I mean, I've recorded a lot of videos, but either the editing that I planned doesn't work, or I just, it's just boring. And I don't think anyone would watch it, so I don't upload it. But yeah, so today um, we are making a pen collision engine on Scratch. So if you don't know what that is, a collision engine, like, I'll just make, I'll just do this. So collision is when two things collide. So that's, so this is collision. So what we're going to make is, so... We the so if he touches the wall, he can't like go through the wall, he just bounces back off the wall. And we're going to be doing this in pen. So let's start by deleting the scratch cat because we won't need him. Um, we could also paint a new sprite and let's name it player. So, first, we're just going to make a simple collision engine. Gonna make the player just a, a black square. Then I'm gonna make a wall up here. So, make sure your sprites are named player and wall. Why is this not centered? I'm just gonna center this. And make sure that the player is centered too. Okay, he is. Okay, so let's start by doing some simple coding. When green flag clicked, go to zero zero. So what this does is if we just like, if he's all the way down here from us moving him around, we click the green flag and he goes back up here. So now we're going to make it so he can move around the screen. So forever if key space pressed and then change it to left arrow change x by negative five then we're going to duplicate that three times for down arrow we're going to do change y by minus five for for up arrow we're going to do change y by five and finally for right arrow we're going to do change x by 5. So now we have some very simple code. The player can move in all directions, but we have one problem. The player can walk right through the wall and nothing will happen. So let's fix this bug. So a simple way to do this is we're going to actually make this code a l run a lot faster and simpler with custom blocks. So make a new custom block named move, and then make it run without screen refresh. And then just drag this code under the define move block. So now we can just do forever move. And it's the same, but it's a lot simpler code since we use custom blocks. Now let's do the same thing for collision. What we're going to do Actually, yeah, let's just, I'm going to just remake the custom block, but I'm going to add an input named direction. So, and then inside of our if statements, for left arrow, put collision left. For down arrow, collision down. For up arrow, collision up. And for right arrow, collision right. So now, what we're going to do is, if touching mouse pointer and then change it to wall, um, we'll 
make it so it bounces back off the wall in the opposite direction that it just went. So, we're going to do if direction equals left change change x by 5 because 5 is the opposite of negative 5 then we're going to um, duplicate it for down we're going to do change y by 5 up change y by negative 5 and right change x by negative 5 so now our collision engine should be working and it does we cannot go through the wall but i said that we would make this all pen so you don't have to do this if you want to keep your thing like this and then add on some more code and make a game out of it that's fine but for um the more advanced coding let's make this pen so I'm just going to hide the, the player in the wall, so it's still going to just do the same thing, but it, you can't... What? What's going on? Oh, I was all the way down here. Yeah, so... It's just not going to do the same thing, but it's not going to... Yeah. Alright. So now let's make it pen. So, we're going to make a new sprite named Pen. And I'm going to take the two costumes from the player and the, the wall into the Pen sprite. And I'm going to name them Player and Wall. So now, let's do a little bit of coding. One green flag. So we're actually going to take this, co this code into the pen. So just drag it in. And the same with the move code. But we can get rid of all of these collision blocks. So now we're going to make two variables and delete the my variable. One will be named player x and make it for all sprites. And the other will be player y, also for all sprites. So now what we're going to do, instead of change x by negative 5, change player x by negative 5. Instead of change y by negative 5, change player y by negative 5, and so on. So change y by 5, that turns into change player y by 5, change x by 5, player x by 5. So there. Now, inst oh, one thing. We need to set player x to 0, set player y to 0, so it starts at 0, 0. So I'm just going to test this real quick. So you can see it's bugged. <laughs> Like, really bugged. But, um, we'll make, like, a limit. So, we'll make a new custom block called ch limit, limit player position. That run without screen refresh. So, limit player position after the, at the end of move. So, what this is going to do, if... Player X is less than minus 240, set player X to minus 240. If player X is greater than 240, set player, set player X to 240. If player Y, oops, if player Y is greater than 180, set player Y, set player Y to 180 if player y is less than negative 180 set player y to negative 180 so that should have fixed that bug yes yeah, so and now it can only go to 
go to the limit. I'm also going to make this not move without screen, run without screen re refresh. So now we're going to draw the player on the screen so we can see where it is. Forever. Draw player. Which is a new custom block. And put it right under move. So what this does. Switch costume to, to player. Set. Go to. Go to player X, player Y. And I forgot the most important thing of making any pen code. Adding the pen extension. So click this button down here and choose pen. Um, we're also, we're also going to put an erase all at the top here. So what it's going to do is it's going to go to where the player needs to be show it will stamp and then hide and it works we have a player now with all pen isn't that cool so what we can do now is let's also make a wall so let's do draw wall So, we're going to put the wall at 0, 134. So, let's just put a draw wall under here. And we're going to do the same code. Switch costume to wall. Go to the position. Show. Stamp. Then hide. And we now have a wall and the player. So we can try it. We can still go through the wall because we haven't coded the collision. So let's make one more custom block named the text collision. I had a hard time saying that for some reason and put it under draw wall. So to find the text collision, so, first, we need to look how big the wall is. So, 266 times 30 by 36. We'll just do wall, um, wall length and wall height. And I put I put them in all caps because there are they are constants which are just never changing variables. So set wall length to um 266 divided by two because it needs to be half of it. Um. Also, don't you, yours might not be 266. Just look at these numbers in the costumes tab. And then I'm going to set wall height to 38 divided by 2. So now it's just wall height is 19, wall length is 133. Good. So now for the detecting collision. This is going to be a really, really long if statement. So the player's 41 by 41. Let's just do a quick 41 divided by 2. So that's 20.5. We need to remember that. So if player Player X is less than, so we're going to do the left side of the wall, 134. I'm just going to do a quick calculation. 134 minus, what is the wall height? Actually, no. That's the Y, so why am I doing this? Z so it's, if it's less than negative, 
negative, if it's not, if player x is not less than negative 133, and player x is not, and player x not greater than um, 133, that's, I'm just make, gonna make a quick comment, add comment, x checking, if, if player x is less than zero, what we're going to do is we're going to what we're going to do is we're just going to set player x to um right just going to show the player sprite quickly right here so that's negative one five one. I'll write that down. So up oh, minus one five one. So that means it's going to be one five one on the other side too. So if it's greater than zero, one five one. Sorry if I um this is hard to explain. It's it's very complex coding in my opinion. So now let's just do duplicate that whole um, if statement and make it y checking. So if not player y is great is less than one okay we're gonna need to do 134 minus 19 115. Okay if it's if it's less than 115, then the top would be plus 19, and it's not greater than 153. If player y is greater, is less than 134, set player y to my, mm, 115. Yeah, let's just try that. No, 114. Um, if player Y is greater than 134, then it needs to go to 154. So let's hope this works. And, whoa, we, we have two players. Okay, here's the real player. So it, it half works. Um, yeah, it half works. You're kind of a little stuck. Um, maybe we should just... Here, I thought of an idea. Let's combine these two giant ands into one humongous and. Then we'll make this all into one if statement. And then we'll drag our humongous and block inside. Let's see if this works. It works, we can't touch the wall. And we can still go freely around the rest of the map. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It took me um, a little while to make. Um, I'm, g I'm going to have a studio where you can add your projects that you create with this tutorial. So, bye guys, that's all for today. So, see you some other time. I'm going to be making more videos over the summer. So, bye.